greetings citizens of the world. We are being exploited and looted by an elite. We have created an economical order that only benefits a few. While most of humanity is doomed to live tired, stressful and meaningless lives. Our environment is being destroyed. Our waters polluted and our food poisoned. How can we allow to be so easily enslaved by a few? How is it possible that billions of human beings are exploited by minority? And nobody seems to care about it. How come we have become so disengaged and so unconcerned towards the problems around us? Why is it that the masses have become so apathetic? Where are the revolutions? Why we don't stand up and face the rulers of our life? Clearly something is going wrong. And in this video I will reveal what is it. The problem is that since the day we are born we are targeted with a variety of mind control techniques that have achieved to create a population of non-thinking, unconcerned human beings. We have become cattle, and in this video, that I hope the viewer will have the patience to see, I will reveal the 9 most used techniques by the elites, to enslave our minds and keep the exploited population under control. Which we call either ideological subversion, or active measures, active мероприятия in the language of, of the KGB, or psychological warfare. What it basically means is, to change the perception of reality, of every American to such an extent that despite of the abundance of information no one is able to come to sensible conclusions in the interest of defending themselves, their families, their community and their country. It's a great brainwashing uh, process. One, one reason why the masses are so calm is because they think they are free they do not realize they are not. The political system it's been set up in a way that make us believe that we have choice, that we can vote, and decide the fate of our country. But that cannot be further from the truth. The true rulers of our nations, are the financial elites who control the banking system. Since long time ago, the elites have created a political system that give the masses the illusion they are free, while the bankers pull the strings hidden behind the political arena. As Rothschild said once, let me issue and control a nation money, and I care not who makes its laws. The owners of this country are no. the voters of this no, country. you're wrong about that, my friend. Are, are, aren't the owners of this country wrong. the voters in this country? No, 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 no not. Listen, politics, these elections are a charade. It is a charade. Oh, okay. it is, it is, they are meant to... Oh, I'll tell you, listen, just listen for a minute. Learn a little something. Ele elections and politicians are in place in order to give Americans the illusion that they have freedom of choice. You don't really have choices. 2. We are being constantly entertained. One key to maintain the masses under control is to keep them distracted. You can rob the people, and you can poison them. As long as they are paying attention somewhere else, they will not realize it. The elites will promote and fund any kind of technology or entertainment that will keep the masses distracted and busy staring at a virtual world. They will flood our societies with pornography, video games and drugs, to ensure that the unhappy citizens turn to these distractions when they are unhappy and bored, instead of turning against the elites, the cause of their unhappiness. And why is that? It's the Roman circus. What does the emperor do? When the people become rescued, and when the people are asking questions, and when the people don't like the policies of the emperor, he sends them to the circus, he creates a circus, he builds a giant coliseum, and he begins to throw the Christians to the lions. He has great chariot races, and football games, and basketball games, all to keep the idiots preoccupied with things that don't mean anything in the scheme of the entire world so that they don't have the time to learn what the truth is, so they don't ever get smart enough to learn how they're being manipulated, so they don't ever question the humor. Another tool used to keep the people apathetic towards the exploitation is to dumb down the population. The elites don't want a well-informed, well-educated population. That would be too dangerous for the current socio-economical order that benefits the elites. As John Rockefeller said, I don't want a nation of thinkers, I want a nation of workers. They want you to be ignorant, to be stupid. 
They don't want you to understand how the economy works. They don't want you to think by yourself. What they want is to ensure that you know so little about the world that surrounds you that you are unable to realize that you are being rooted in front of your eyes. To achieve that goal, they will place you in the educational system where you will be indoctrinated to become an obedient citizen. By the time you will have finished your education, all your intellectual curiosity will have been killed, all your passion for learning will be gone, and all you will have, it's a deep lack of knowledge about the world that surrounds so, you. Don't you worry about that, we're going to lower the passing grades. That's what they do in a lot of these schools now, they lower the passing grades so more kids can pass. More kids pass, the school looks good, everybody's happy, the IQ of the country slips another two or three points, and pretty soon all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil. Got a pencil? Get the fuck in there, it's physics. Then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do. Four. Another tool they use is brainwashing. They will use the media, the advertisements, the education, the movies, to instill in your mind aspirations, attitudes and behaviors that will turn you into a non-thinking creature. They do not want you to care about the world. They don't want you to be altruistic. They don't want you to read books. What they want is to implant in your mind values, preoccupations and complexes that will turn you into a selfish, materialistic and ignorant creature who will be easily exploited by an elite. So, social med uh, messages are promoted through movies and drama, high drama, through the fixation of emotive sequences, emotional sequences, not logical, factual sequences, but pushing points across in an emotion emotional way which register and fix in the mind. So emotional content is very, very important rather than going through an actual discussion or an argument using logic and facts. There's no debates. And when you're being downloaded through fiction, your guard is down. The sensor part of your brain is not in, uh, in action. It isn't saying, yes, I agree with this, I disagree with that, as you would in a debate or a lecture. You're actually in an alpha state, being completely downloaded with new ideas. 5. Another weapon they use to mind control the population is through implanting hatred in their minds. The elites don't want a united population. That would be too dangerous for the economical order. They need the masses to be divided and to be confronted with each other. We live under an economical system that is unfair for the majority of the population. Unhappiness and discontent will be rampant among the citizens. And the elites don't want you to turn against them. They don't want you to realize that your unhappiness stems from the unfair economical system they have created. And to achieve that, they will bombard you with propaganda and lies to persuade you that the real problems you experience come from someone else. A common scapegoat blamed by the elites tend to be the immigrants. We can see now in US or in United Kingdom how the immigrants have been the main topic of the political debates when the real reason of the hardships we are going through are the greediness of the bankers. Now to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country, is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us, things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Fairly simple thing happens to work. Do you know anything different? That's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything they can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. Six. Another tool used by the elites will be fear and terror. Sometimes the elites require the masses to be scared. Sometimes the establishment need to wage imperialistic wars or need to curtail your rights to keep the masses subjugated. And to achieve that, they will put you in such a state of fear that you will eventually allow your government to wage a war or to curtail your rights so that you can feel safe again. To scare the citizens, the elites use mainly two methods propaganda and false flag terror attacks against their own population. 9-11. 
as one of the many examples of terrorist attacks against the own population orchestrated by the elites, to terrorize the masses and manipulate their minds. A clear example of propaganda to scare the ignorant masses, was that Iraq, a poor country devastated by one decade of US bombings, had weapons of mass destruction. Ballistic missiles, chemical or biological weapons, chemical or biological attack, nuclear holy warriors, nuclear program, nuclear weapons, nuclear weapon, nuclear technology, biological, chemical, or a nuclear weapon. Seven. Another way to keep the masses subjugated, is to make us believe in a fake reality. The history has been twisted. The news are giving us a biased view of the world. The music industry is brainwashing us with stupid messages. The documentaries are lying at us. The elite controls all we see and all we watch. They are cleverly manipulating our worldview. To turn us into controllable and ignorant beings. To keep the masses subjugated is indispensable to make them live in an illusory world, otherwise, they could find out their condition of slaves. The elites need to create a fake reality, to give them the illusion they are free. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We deal in illusions, man, none of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds, we're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You eat like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. Eight. Another tool used to keep the masses in a deep state of ignorance is the censorship. The enlightened people are killed, the free-thinking journalists are silenced, the whistleblowers incarcerated, and the teachers who speak the truth, are fired. That's the modern and liberal societies where most of the masses think they live. Through censorship in the media industry, and in the educational system, the elites can prevent the masses from waking up and realize that they are living in a prison. We are basically, free-range slaves. Well, I, I've been a journalist for about 25 years and I was educated to lie, to betray and uh, not to tell the truth to the public. But seeing right now, within the last months, how, how far, um, how, how the German and American media tries to bring war to the people in Europe, to bring war to Russia. Uh, this is a point of no return, and I, I stand, I'm going to stand up and say um, it is not right what I have done in the past uh, to, to manipulate people, to make propaganda against Russia, and it is not right what my colleagues do on, and have done in the past, because they are bribed uh, to betray the people, not only in Germany, all over Europe. 9. Another tool to control the masses, is through keeping the citizens busy since the first day they can start thinking by themselves. A human being with free time, poses a threat for the system. Free time would allow individuals to think, to develop passions, to wake up spiritually. That's too dangerous for the current socio-economical order. If the elites want to exploit the masses, they need to kill the individual. They cannot allow you to develop your own personality and think by yourself, to control the population. It's a must to keep the citizens busy and with no free time. Then, they will become robots. They will not know themselves. They will not know who they are or what they like. Have you ever wondered why so many people is lost? Why nobody seems to know what to do with their lives? If you turn the people into zombies, who don't know who they are, who do not have values, then, you can easily exploit them. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to your gurus. Go to yourselves. Because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. <laughs> Man, you're never going to get any truth from us. As we have seen, if the masses have become so apathetic towards the misery, 
the poverty and the destruction around them. It's because there are very powerful individuals and institutions who are using a wide variety of techniques to control what we see, what we learn and what we think, in order to control our minds and create a population of submissive, apathetic creatures, who can be easily exploitable. The scientific dictatorship understands what makes human beings tick. They understand our psychology. They've studied it, and they're using it against us. But the minute the public awakens to the fact that there is an agenda to manipulate them, and the second the public realizes that they are being conditioned and controlled, the establishment begins to lose that edge they've got over people. So all I ask viewers to do is to think for themselves. We have become cattle. The earth have become a farm. Now my question is, are you a cattle, or are you a human being? I hope this video have somehow helped the viewer to become a little bit more awake. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forget. Expect us. Turn off your television sets. Turn them off now. Turn them off right now. Turn them off and leave them off. Turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now. Turn them off.